So yesterday I made a video proving that Christ's claim to be the Son of God was a claim of deity. It meant equality with God, which is why it was blasphemous and worthy of death for Jesus to say he was the Son of God. Uh, John defines it as making himself equal with God in John 5, 18. Um, <clears throat> It was a very, very big deal to claim to be the Son of God. And I want my Unitarian friends to define and explain biblically what Son of God, the way that Jesus was Son of God, not the way that we are sons of God, but the way Jesus was the Son of God, or the only begotten Son, or the one and only unique Son of God. <clears throat> Define for us, in a video response, what exactly it means. Um, and I want you to attempt to refute my argument, my conclusion. Because I see it as a necessary result of the New Testament evidence. In light of these verses right here, John 19, 7, 5, 18, and others, John chapter 10, I am the Son of God seems to be interchangeable with claiming to be God, both were claims of deity. Why was it blasphemous? I want my Unitarian friends to explain why Jesus claiming to be the Son of God was a death penalty and was blasphemous, if it's just a human title. If it simply means human Lord or human Messiah, like similar to Son of David or if it simply means that he has no human father because he was begotten by the Holy Spirit of God, well, <clears throat> prove, at least explain in response to my arguments here, why it was a death penalty, why it was blasphemous for the Jewish leaders. What, uh, claiming to have no human father, like Adam. Adam was called a son of God in, in the Bible. Claiming to have no human father, is that blasphemous? Is that worthy of death? Is that a death penalty in Jewish law? See, what, what law is this, by the way? I want you to explain that as well. What law is this if this is not the law of blasphemy claiming deity for yourself? You see, <clears throat> if we assume that Son of God is a claim of deity and equality with God, that you are of the same class as God and the same category of being and existence as God. Just like being the son of a carpenter and the carpenter in these two parallel verses in Matthew and Mark are interchangeable and equivalent in meaning. Right? The case that son of God and God actually are both claims of deity can be equivalent in meaning and basically the same thing, synonymous claims of deity. If this is the case, if we assume that I'm correct in that conclusion, it makes perfect sense, whether we like to admit it or not, it makes perfect sense why the Jewish leaders would want to kill Jesus, why they would consider it blasphemy. It makes perfect sense. Now, if I'm wrong, then explain a better way, a better reason why it's a death penalty. What law is this? Why is it blasphemous? Explain to us in a, a, uh, in a YouTube video response. Explain, in light of these verses, the carpenter and the carpenter's son are interchangeable. Why is this the case when you look at the biblical evidence? Explain what Son of God means, the way that Jesus claimed it, and show us why I'm wrong and unbiblical in making the conclusion that Son of God was a claim of deity and equality with God. You do have to explain John 5.18. You do have to explain John 19.7 and other verses where Jesus claims to be the Son of God. It was such a huge deal to whoever was in that context. Why is it such a huge deal if it's just a human title? Why did Jesus? Why would they want to put him to death? Why would the, <clears throat> the trial of Jesus being accused of claiming to be the Son of God and the Christ, why would it be a death penalty? Why would they want to brutally murder him for saying such if it has nothing to do with 
claiming to be Yahweh in the flesh or claiming to be of the same nature as God or claiming to be God himself. It's interesting that <clears throat> even Unitarian Anthony Buzzard can admit that a verse like this proves that Jesus is on a par with God. He has prerogatives that make the Jews very, very uncomfortable. He's on a par with God, but you don't want to really use the word equal with God because that, that's a bit too far for Unitarians. That's blasphemous even for them. But explain what does Son of God really mean in light of the fact that it's a death penalty and blasphemous in Jewish minds? <clears throat>